Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday, everyone. I didn't actually wear makeup today. I have a little bit of blush on uh, because we are going to be sweating. So just wanted to quickly point out, if you are sweating a lot, uh, you need to absolutely wash your face afterwards and you need to cleanse because it's super important to clean up those pores. So don't, you know, work out with a ton of makeup on. Probably a lot of us are not doing that considering we're at home now. Uh, but good thing, just like a little tip for skincare health is wash your face with really, really cold water. It'll clean out your pores. And then of course, make sure you're doing your cleansing, your toning, your moisturizing is super important. Um, so I just recommend not wearing a ton of makeup when you're working out. We don't want to clog those pores and get acne and all this other crap going on in our face. And not to mention your makeup will be running all over your, um, <laughs> all over the place. And it's harder for me because I'm on camera. Um, but at the same token, just try to follow along with what I do. Good morning, everybody. I'm so happy to see you all. I don't know what the heck happened yesterday. Uh, my apologies for that. But I'm actually going to be posting another workout for you tomorrow to make up for it. So no stress there. Uh, welcome. Today we are going to need our band once again. I'm sure most of you already have that. Uh, for sure, get your water. I'd like you to try and be closer to a mirror today because I'm going to be teaching you how to do a deadlift properly. There's a lot of moving parts to doing a deadlift exercise. And it's actually one of the hardest things to accomplish uh, properly when it comes to lifting for your legs and your glutes and your hamstrings and your quads. It's a really effective uh, workout as well for your core. So I highly recommend you pay attention to all the different cues uh, that we're going to be going through today. And don't forget, Monday I'll be highlighting somebody in this group that has stood out to me for the past um, 12 days. I think we're on day 12 or 13, if I'm not mistaken. It's going by so friggin' quickly. And I got a lot of good stuff coming for you guys this week. And hopefully it posts like it's supposed to, but I'm excited to get started today. So please grab your band, make sure you have a towel, make sure you have your water, and try to get close to a mirror so you can see what you're doing. Um, today is going to be a doozy. So if again, you are newer to sort of working out, really pay attention to the cues that I'm going to be teaching you. Don't lift heavy, really focus on your form, focus on the cues that I'm going to be coaching you through so we can really make uh, today uh, not painful for you. And also uh, just make sure that you're getting your water and your protein afterwards. It's super important. So without further ado, we're going to warm up those glutes. As always, we are going to warm up our legs. So what I'd like you to do to start is please put on your band six inches above the knee. Um, I'm obviously freezing, <laughs> but because my house is cold, I'm not even have socks on. And if anyone follows us, um, inside of my fast renovation business, Steve went into the freezing cold water yesterday, which is crazy. I don't even know how he did it. Okay, we're going to start here. Once again, when you squat down, everybody, you really need to focus on pulling everything in through your transverse abdominals. So you're focusing on tucking that belly button in, creating that C curve and bringing that belly button to the back of your spine. Lots to think about. It's going to take some practice. So don't get discouraged, but constantly remain focused on not letting your core dome outwards. Okay. Good morning to all 17 of you, super excited to have you. So let's go ahead and get squatted down here. What we're gonna do everybody is take a step back and you wanna extend through that band, keeping that core nice and tucked and we're gonna breathe. Make sure you're focused here on pushing through the back of the glute as well as the side of your leg. You're gonna do a simple toe touch backwards as you breathe, exhale. We're going to do 25 on one leg and then we're going to switch 11. Stay low in that squat. Make sure your knee is not coming over top of your toe. Touch it back. Good job, everybody. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Stand up. Just move your legs around a little bit. Cannot work out with a big sweater. Okay. Squat. There's 10, let's go. Exhale back, toe touch to the front. Arms place wherever you're comfortable. Exhale, five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Stand up. They should already be warm. Shake your legs around here. Okay, deep breath. What I want you to do now, ladies, is take your feet about hip width apart, point those toes outwards. You are going to squat down 
opening up your hips as you drive your bottom to the floor, okay? Core is tucked, you're gonna bend over, put your hands underneath your toes, drive down with the bottom, inhale, drive it back up, and stand up. Once again, oh, underneath your toes, keep your arms inside your legs, squat low, drive back up with your butt, exhale, stand up. Once again, let's go. Drive it back up, stand up, complete the movement, don't walk your knees, bend over at the hip, squat down, drive it back up, stand up. Over top, underneath your toes, squat, get that butt close to the ground, drive that butt back up. Keep that core tucked, ladies, let's go. Exhale, push through those heels, Exhale, inhale down, drive up with that butt, exhale forward and squeeze. Let's go, three more here. Exhale, two more, drive down with that butt, push through the heels, exhale straight up. Last one here. Exhale and drive. Good job. Grab water if you need to, and then I'd like you to get your long band. So ready to sweat today, ladies. All right, we're going to go nice and wide with a little bit of resistance on that band. couple deep breaths here before we start. I need you to make sure that you're not popping your shoulder out of your socket, okay? You are going to take that band up and around nice and slow. Touch your butt and back over top. Exhale over. Whenever we're doing legs, if we are deadlifting or squatting, we need to make sure that we are warming our upper back as well. Exhale. Keep your core tight. Knees are not locked. Bring it over your head and continue to breathe. Exhale. Let's do two more in this direction and then we're going to go around the world kind of thing. Exhale. Okay. Same thing. Arms are going to stay somewhat straight. You're going to come up around your head, back down to the right side of your hips. Exhale. Okay, warm up that top back. Keep your head facing forward. Exhale, open up those chest muscles, the top of your back, your shoulders. Exhale. Two more this direction, and then we got to switch it up. Exhale. Good. Let's switch our direction. Lead up with the opposite arm. Almost like you're spinning a baton. Please go slow. I don't want you to knock that shoulder joint out of place. Exhale. Focus on keeping those arms nice and strong. Use your muscles, not your joints. Exhale. Three more here. Exhale. Good job, everybody. One more here, okay? Great job. Go ahead and get down on the mat. I want you to take your left foot outwards. Okay, you're going to point it down. We are going to do basically a one-legged glute warm-up. So what you're doing here, you're keeping that core tucked. You are going to hinge at the hip. Exhale forward. So send the butt to the heel. Exhale, straight up and squeeze. Keep your arms forward. Complete the movement. Squeeze that glute. Exhale. Exhale up. I lost count. <laughs> so we're going to go with eight. Exhale, squeeze that glute. Keep those toes pointed up on that opposite foot. 
Three more. Exhale. Exhale up. Good job, everybody. Let's switch our leg. So kneeling, heel, heels on the mat, toes pointed in the air, down, exhale up, hinge at that hip, drive down with the glutes and squeeze at the top. Keep that core tucked in, do whatever is comfortable for you for your hands. Inhale, exhale up. If you have a bad knee, you can just simply sit down on the bench and stand up while squeezing your glutes. Exhale, squeeze. Three more. Squeeze those glutes. One more. Keep that core tucked. Good job. Come on up slowly. Grab water, please. Good morning, everyone. We're just getting warmed up here. All right. Careful, there's nothing in your way here. I'm actually gonna remove my hat. If you're wearing socks, take them off. We're gonna do a jump lunge. Okay, so keys here, land softly. Don't land hard, okay? You wanna take the impact off of your knee joints. If you have back issues, knee issues, all I want you to do is a simple step forward, lunge, and down. Keeping that core tucked, pushing through that front heel. Um, if you are a beginner, same thing. Intermediate, advanced, I want you to get started in a lunge, bending both knees, squaring your hips, tucking the core. You're gonna drive this knee to the ground and power up to the opposite leg. Exhale, gotta breathe. We're pulling up that heart rate big time here. Exhale. Exhale. Four more, four, three. Good job, everyone. Those are hard, grab water, walk it out. We're officially warmed up. Kick your heels to your butt. In through the nose. Out through the mouth, please. Good job so far, everybody. Okay. A couple more seconds of rest here. You want to grab two options here. This is our first set of resistance. So you can grab this band or light weights. So 10 pounds and under. What you're gonna do, we're gonna do a deadlift with a back row combination, okay? So if you're using this band, take a decent amount of a grip, about hip width apart, standing on that band. Bend your knees, tuck the core, and your hips forward, okay? Let your arms fall beside you. You are going to hinge at the hip. Inhale, exhale up. Sorry, stay with me. Hinge at the hip, back roll your elbows to the top of the ceiling, release, complete the movement, squeeze your glutes. Bend over. Exhale, uh, elbows to the ceiling, keeping those knees bent, <sighs> pushing through those heels. Exhale up. If you're finding your bend is too easy, choke up on the grip. Exhale, pull up. Keep your back flat. Focus on using the back of your glutes. <sighs> Exhale up, keep that core tucked. 
shoulders are back. Drive up with those elbows. Think about squeezing a pencil through your spine here. Release, exhale, squeeze your glutes. Hinge, drive those elbows up, through the heels, squeeze. Inhale, good ladies, keep that head tucked in line with your spine. We're gonna go for three more. Squeeze the top part of your back, down, which is your lats. Exhale, squeeze. Really emphasize the squeezing. Mind muscle connection is everything here. Good job. Go ahead, release that band and grab a drink. Good job so far, ladies. Okay, let's destroy these glutes today. Put on your band. Make sure you have some uh, walking distance. We're gonna go, I can only go about six steps in this bedroom. So I'm gonna work, out, work with what I got. He's here. You wanna stay low, okay? We're gonna start stepping backwards. So before you get ready here, squat. Core is tucked. Lead back with that leg opposite leg, do a little bit of a squat in between. Step forward, same thing. Exhale. Core is tucked. Lead with the outside of your glutes. Exhale. Do a squat in the middle. Keep those shoulders back. Exhale. Exhale, forward again. Push through those glutes, through the heels. Exhale, and stand up. Great job so far. Woo! <laughs> How's everyone feeling? Good morning, everybody. Nice to see you. We've got almost 20 people on today. Super happy about that. Couple deep breaths again. We're definitely elevating your heart rate today. So those of you that are always asking about cardio, this is your cardio element. Cheers to that, drink your water. Okay, super important to get your breathing back. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Before we do our next set, I'm just gonna reiterate the fact that a lot of people think they need to be breathing heavy, sweating profusely in order to burn fat. That couldn't be further from the truth. Your body is all about anaerobic and aerobic uptake of oxygen, which happens at different times and different um, energy levels, if you will, during your exercise. So there's something called a metabolic test, which I'll take you through after we finish our second set. Grab some weight, heavier than you had the first time. So if you used a band, I'd like you to grab some dumbbells. Once again, tuck those transverse abdominals, drive that belly button in. Bend over and pick up those weights to start. We're going back to our deadlift with back row. Okay, I'm gonna show you from the side. So you want to be here to start. You're going to hinge at the hip, exhale those elbows to the ceiling, stand back up and squeeze those glutes. Hinge, exhale, squeeze, push through those heels, exhale and watch your neck alignment. Back should be straight, exhale, Squeeze it forward, hinge, back row, release, stand up, complete the movement. Exhale, squeeze the butt. Exhale, we got two more here. 
hinge. Push through those heels, ladies. Squeeze your bum. One more. Back row and release. Go ahead and set down those weights gently. Let's do some breathing. In through the nose, out through the mouth. All right. In and out. So back to metabolic testing. It's actually a proven fact that if you are not struggling for air, you are actually burning more fat cells. This is why resistance training is super effective. And as you can see too, I mean, obviously it develops lean muscle mass, which is going to uptake your energy and burn more fat naturally at rest, not to mention make you stronger and prevent injury. Also, a few other things about resistance level or training, I should say, just like we're doing today, you can incorporate the cardio. I'm not saying you can't do cardio. What I'm saying is if you have a choice between doing a ridiculous amount of cardio training or resistance training, you need to go with resistance training. It's absolutely the way to go, especially as women, as we age our bone density, we have way more fat cells than men. Super, super, super important, okay? Are you ready? <laughs> We're gonna go back to our jump lunge, okay? Once again, beginners, you're just gonna simply step forward and back, or if you're really struggling today with energy, please go ahead and do that. If you can't get as many as I am, I'd like you just to try to get your absolute max reps here, okay? So once again, starting in a lunging position, make sure both of your knees are bent, square those hips, tuck that core, drive that knee down and up, power up. Exhale, 10, 12, 24. Walk it out, ladies. Walk it out. <sighs> Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Walk around. Get that heart rate back. Good job, everyone. And you're wanting to up the ante a bit? Let's grab your band. Okay, six inches, core is tucked, stand up to start, toes pointed out, knees are bent, bring those hips forward, hinge, exhale, back up and squeeze, get that resistance through that band. Let's blast through some fat, ladies. Let's go, exhale. Keep those knees bent, don't lock them. Squeeze at the top and make sure you're completing the movement. Inhale, exhale, inhale again. Exhale as you stand up. Exhale, squeeze. Exhale up. Two more, let's go. Hinge, pull through those heels. Squeeze. Good job, everybody. Go ahead and rack those weights. How's everyone feeling? Yes, Hillary, be careful, girl. Take a lot of deep breaths. French chain amino acids is what I'm sipping on and water. Whew, 
going back and forth here, okay? Great job so far. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Okay, we're gonna switch it up a little bit. I want you to grab 10 or 15 pounds. We're gonna do what I call a spider curl. Okay, so it's actually three sets of seven all in a row. We're gonna focus now on the biceps a little bit, then we're going back to legs. So I want you to get your palms facing forward, get your elbows tucked to the sides, knees are bent, core is tucked. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Wrists are facing the ceiling. You're going to come up to 90. Exhale. Six. Squeeze your biceps. Seven. Release down. A couple deep breaths. We're going to start at 90 to the shoulders. 90. Exhale. Squeeze your biceps. Five. Exhale, one more, seven, release, ready, all the way up, all the way down for seven more, two, breathe, four, five, six, one more, squeeze at that top, good job everybody, be careful racking those weights. Let's take our arm forward, stretching out that bicep. <sighs> Might not be warm, but the sun is out today. Let's get our 10,000 steps and no excuses. <sighs> Ideally, ladies, if you can do it first thing in the morning, I'd recommend it. Unless, of course, you're doing your workout instead. Try to get it in some time after you eat a meal is obviously uh, better, okay? Oh boy. Grab some water, and then I'd like you to focus on between 15 and 20 pound weight. If you only have a 10, no problem, grab it. Okay, we're gonna do a sumo squat. So you can do the grip two different ways. You can grip it on both sides like this. Your arms are gonna stay in the middle here. I do not wanna see those shoulders rolling forward. We're gonna take a wide stance, hence the sumo. We need to bend in our knees and we need to tuck our bottom in, keeping that core engaged, shoulders not rolling forward, okay? So once you're here, you're gonna squat down, pick up the weight like this, or like this, or in the middle, whatever you're comfortable with, okay? Stand up, make sure your hips are tucked forward, squat down, Stand up and squeeze those glutes. Keep that back straight and keep your knees, prevent your knees from walking. Inhale, push through those heels, through that little inside area underneath your butt and also your hamstrings. Exhale up. 9, inhale. 10, 11, and 12. Good job, hinge. Go ahead and wrap that weight and grab water. We're doing great so far, everyone. Go ahead and move that weight out of the way. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Just need a little more rest. Gain control of your breathing. You're gonna grab your 10 pounds again. We're gonna go back to biceps. We're gonna do a little different. We're just gonna do a hammer curl this time. Okay, two options here. If you wanna try working your core a little bit more, you can come up on one leg or you can stay on two. Okay, bend at the knee slightly if you're going on one leg. Wrists are facing each other. Drive the weight to the top of your shoulder 
and all the way back down. Squeeze. We're not swinging our body here. Our biceps are doing all the work. Exhale. Eight. Exhale. Core tucked. One more. We're going to do 13. Why not? Good job. Take a couple more deep breaths here. And I want you to grab a heavier weight this time. If you have it, if not, once again, you can add a band around your legs. We're going to go back to the sumo squat, okay? All right. Okay. Also, depending on the thickness of your dumbbell, you might be able to get closer to the ground if you have or, or horizontal the weight, okay? I'm going to keep like this just because I don't think my hands are going to fit there. Toes are pointed out. Tuck in here. Keep that core in. Squat down. Exhale up. Keep those shoulders from rolling forward. Push through those heels and squeeze. Five. Exhale, seven. Eight. One more if you went heavier. Ten, good job. Great job so far. Grab water, please. Roll your shoulders back. Keep everything nice and loose. How's everyone feeling, ladies? Talk to me. Good job. By the way, uh, jump lunges probably will make you sore. So please make sure you stretch a little bit more today. Prevent that lactic acid from building up. So self-massage is a good idea. If you have a foam roller, get at it, okay? And again, stretch, just keep everything loose. Make sure you get your protein as well. Simple things, okay? In through the nose, out through the mouth. Uh, let's grab our tens again. We're gonna go back to our 21s, ladies. This time we're going to do it in a hammer portion, portion though. Okay, bend at both knees, tuck the core. Let's start at 90 and release down. 90 and down. Don't swing. Squeeze at the top of that bicep. There's seven. Stay here. Go up to the shoulder. 90. Let's breathe. Squeeze those arms. Five, six, and seven, all the way down. Readjust, all the way up and release. Four, two more, six, and seven, good job. Wise. Ladies, I'm not having connection problems, am I? No, okay. Doesn't look like it. Woo okay, grab your uh, heavier weight again. We're going back to sumos. Anywhere from 10 to 12, depending on how yeah, heavy you're lifting, or 8 to 10. Okay. Knees are bent. Tuck. Okay. Toes are pointed out, get wide here. You're gonna squat down as far as you can without rolling your back forward. Okay, so straight down, driving the bottom of the butt to the floor. Are you ready? Let's go. Exhale up and squeeze. Don't lock the knees. Three. Four. 
Breathe. There's eight, squeeze. Nine and 10. Great job, everyone. Good job. Holy crap. We're gonna do a little bit of a stretch right now. Make sure we're not tightening up a bit. Okay, so what I want you to do is kneel down. Get in a nice long lunge. Hips square, lean forward until you feel a nice stretch in the front here. Your hip flexor down through the quad and hold there. Don't bounce, don't move back and forth, hold. Keep that core in. Good, from here, release back, toe up, lean forward, stretching out the back of the hamstring on the opposite leg. Hold here. Good job. Up, let's switch our leg. Lean forward, squaring those hips, pushing through the front of that quad here. In through the nose, out through the mouth, core is tucked. Good, from here, heel down, toes up. Lean forward, if you wanna to touch the ground, go ahead. Deeper stretch. Should be feeling it right here. Good job, everyone. Go ahead and stand up when you're ready. Okay, grab some water. And grab your 10 pound weights, please. Okay, standing up nice and tall here. We're gonna cross the body and back down, cross and down. I want you to really think about squeezing the top part of your bicep here. <sighs> Exhale, five or six, I think, seven. When you point the weight back to the ground, start thinking about the back of your tricep staying flexed as well as of course your bicep so the front of your arm and the back of your arm the upper arm six no idea where I'm at ladies sorry we're gonna do ten more twelve exhale and squeeze push through that tricep on the way down head straight Core is tucked, four more. Four, three, two, and one. Good job. All right. Water, please. Great job so far, ladies. We've been going solid, I think, probably for about Yep, 40 minutes. We're almost there. We're gonna aim for 50 today. Don't necessarily need to do this every time you work out, but when you got me live, that's what we do. <laughs> so you can grab 10s or 15s. Your body is definitely warm now. Um, I would wait on the 20s because we're gonna try and do more than one set. We're gonna do a curtsy lunge. Okay. Beginners, no weight, okay? What we're gonna do is travel a little bit, or should we just do one leg at a time? Yeah, we're gonna do one leg at a time so I don't go off camera. Hopefully you're with me, so square those hips, knees are bent. You're gonna take that left leg and curtsy it back and, and back to center, okay? So back. Exhale up. <sighs> Try not to lean over top of your front knee. You are focused here on pushing through that right foot heel. <sighs> Keep that core tucked and exhale as you stand back up to center. <sighs> <sighs> Two more. 
two more, 11, core's tucked, and 12, good job. Stand up, spread that foot wide on that ground there. Square those hips, let's go, exhale up. Head forward, shoulders forward, or not back, sorry, shoulders should not be hunched. Exhale, seven, eight, nine, three more, 10, 11, and 12. Good job, everybody. Deep breaths. Excellent work so far. Kick your heels to your butt. Walk it out. Your heart rate should be elevated for sure. If not, simply means you're not lifting heavy enough, okay? So add some weight if you need to. Okay, we're gonna do another bicep um, workout here, the exercise. Important to switch it up. Grab your green band. Keep those muscles guessing. Even if it's a bit on the lighter side, you're gonna aim for 15 reps or more. Take a wide enough grip on that band. Step on the band. Knees are bent. Wrists are forward. Shoulders back. Exhale up. Control down. Three. Need to control that band. It's gonna to wanna to force you to flop downwards. Exhale, eight, nine, squeeze, 10, 11, 12, three more, four, 15, 15, good job. Take that off. If you want, move your wrists around a little. Grab water, please. How's everyone feeling? Happy Saturday. All right, all right, all right. Let's go up a bit in weight for our curtsy, and then we're gonna finish the day off strong with a little bit of core, okay? I'm gonna grab 20s, do as you please. Remember, we're all starting somewhere. It's not even about the amount of weight you can lift right now. It's about form, it's about breathing, and it's about consistency, okay? Once again, if you're a beginner, I'd like you to not use any weight. When you step back, don't be afraid to go wide. Okay, just watch yourself from falling forward a little bit. Okay, stand up nice and tall. We're gonna stay, we're gonna start with our left leg this time. Bend at the knees, exhale back and center. Good job. Push through that heel. Five. Six, core's tight. Seven, we're gonna do two more here. 10, good job. Couple breaths. Toes wide, let's change it up. Opposite leg. Breathe, ladies. Six. Push through that heel and the glute. Two more. 10. Great job. Careful racking the weight. You might be a bit tired. Got 
Okay, grab your mat. What a workout, ladies. Okay. We're gonna do some toe touches. Um, to end off the day. <laughs> so go ahead, get down. Bring your water, please. Grab some sips before we start. Oh boy. Okay. Remember when you're doing your abs, you gotta focus on having your back, lower back pressed into that mat, okay? So stretch your legs out all the way, arms above the head. What you're gonna do is make sure again that lower back is 10, exhale, breathe, press that lower back into the mat. Use your core to get up. Exhale, 17, three more. One more. 20, sit up, sit up nice and tall here, roll those shoulders back, keep your back loose. You don't realize it, but there's a lot of back work required for lifting legs, okay? Water. We're almost there, we had a great workout so far, okay? Lay back down. Last exercise, and then we're gonna do some stretching together. Press that lower back into the mat. We're gonna do a bicycle ab, okay? Exhale, point those toes out. Keep that back pressed into the mat. Don't yank your neck. Head is heavy in those fingertips. Exhale through the lower core, 13. Good job. Lay down, stretch out nice and long here. <sighs> Exhale. We're gonna do one more, I changed my mind. Bend the right knee, take that left arm to, to the side by your left leg, pressing that lower back into the mat. You're gonna exhale straight up and release. Exhale. Up. Use your arm as leverage if you need to. Exhale. Nine. Ten. Two more. Exhale. Your core should be screaming at you right now. Switch. Sending that left arm up by your left ear. Bend your left leg, right arm is down on the mat. Exhale, up and toe touch. Use your core, not your neck. We're not yanking our body, we are controlling it. Exhale. Leg is gonna stay off the ground. Come around onto your stomach on the mat here. Let's do a nice cobra stretch, okay? Press your hip bones into the mat. Take your hands underneath your shoulders here. Exhale up. Get those shoulders away from your ears. Nice stretch through the lower back, your spine, your core, everything. In through the nose, out through the mouth, three breaths. Take your butt to your heels. Leave your arms forward. Stretch, open those shoulders. Reach as high as you can on the mat. Good job, everybody. Come on around and sit. Put your feet together, 
open up those knees, drive them to the ground, stretching, open those hip flexors. Try to get up onto your uh, butt bones here. Make sure you exhale. Good job. Okay. Bring that left leg down, right knee over top of that left leg. Let's hug it into our chest. What a great workout today. Remember, steps, protein, water, self-massage. Let's stretch a little bit more. If you've got a foam roller, I'd recommend it. Um, if you have a hypertise or a self-massager, go ahead and use that. Send your left arm over that knee and look behind you. Good job, everybody. Switch your leg, hug it in. Stand up nice and tall here. Great workout today. I'm super happy about it. You guys inspire me. Thank you for showing up. Let's go ahead and stand up for me. Get that core tucked in. I want you to hinge over at the hip, drop your head, drop your shoulders, keep your core tucked in, reach for the floor here. Rise up slowly, prevent that blood. Okay, grab the back of your, or the top part of your foot, stretching out that quad, keep that core tucked in. Make sure you breathe. And switch. It's trying to reconnect again. We'll see you again on Wednesday live. Um, but again, you'll be getting another workout tomorrow from me to make up from yesterday. I have no clue what happened. Um, so I don't know why my thing is all acting up today, but I'll figure that out. Have a great day, everybody. And again, drink your water, get your protein at least within an hour and a half maximum after this workout. And remember to stretch a little bit more. No excuses. Get it done. Get your steps done. And we'll see you again soon. Bye, everybody. You're welcome, Lindsay. Kelly, no worries, girls. Have a great day. Frida, you guys are amazing. I love you all. No problem.